North Dakota is a place rich in natural resources. Although we face new challenges today, we have a community that understands the need to protect this land for future generations. On the way here, when we were, we were coming from the east driving along 94, you could see um, oil pumps along the side of the road. But uh, as soon as we came into the park, we couldn't see any oil fields or anything like that and right away hit a buffalo jam. In the park, we haven't seen any oil development at all. Yeah, I didn't really see any of it either. I saw some cell phone towers, but that was about it. No, no signs, of, no it signs of oil here. There are a few places near the boundary of our park where you can see outside oil development. The rest of the park, however, is just like this. It's full of scenic vistas of wildlife and nature. People from all over come here every year for the same reason that Theodore Roosevelt did, to find solitude and to connect with nature. We came for the weekend just to kind of get away from life for a little bit and slow down, I guess. My father used to take me out here and I'm taking her out here. I came here to see what God created for us. And be with family. <laughs> We saw prairie dogs. Lots of prairie dogs. So many prairie dog holes. <laughs> Seems like there was thousands of them. And we're actually standing right now in the middle of a prairie dog town. We saw bison. Uh, we really love seeing the bison. A bunch of them lying down. Right up close to the road where you can see them very easily. We saw wild horses. I have pronghorn. Rivers. And I have over 50 badges. We're glad we came. <laughs> I can think to myself, this is, must have been just like this when, the, when Theodore Roosevelt was here. When Theodore Roosevelt was here, he found his own reasons to protect these places. As a geologist, I find this park incredible. I think we need places where only the wind and rain can shape the earth. Other people find their own reason. We need places like this so that you can see the night stars. We need a place for bison to roam. Prairie dogs. Prairie dogs. We, need we need prairie, prairie dogs. dogs. It's good to have that balance where you can come to a place like North Dakota that's really remote like this and you have that good economic development balanced with the beautiful terrain and we, and we like to preserve that. We need protective habitat and we need some zones for your development. We need geology that people can actually go out and see and walk around in. To keep it in its present state is important. We need protected places because we're always building new things. Day-to-day -day life is so crowded with stuff that you really need a place to get away from the commotion and the chaos and the turmoil and all the pressure of that. It's important to have places like this are just really good for the, for the soul. Just preserve it the way it exists so that future generations can enjoy it. I can't imagine not having protected places like this. America would be a, a different country. You don't ever want to lose this. As development grows in our world, so does our need for places to escape the stress of everyday life. And because of this, we need this place. We so. need this place. We need this place. We need this place. We need this place now more than ever. We need Theodore Roosevelt National Park. I'm Theodore Roosevelt, and I approve this message. <laughs>